Hello, a rate commuter here. How's everybody doing? Just want to talk about some Arkham Knight. I'm playing the game, and uh, I got to tell you about uh, my overall impressions so far. I'm almost done with the uh, campaign. Uh, I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but uh, the controls are, like, uh, very simple. You see, for me, the game that I played just before this game was uh, Shadow of Mordor, which was also another Warner Brothers game. And I have played the other uh, Arkham games, so I'm very familiar with the control scheme. So picking up Batman in this game was really easy. It was really simple. This game, you just jump right into it. You're Batman. Uh, there's no Bruce Wayne. Usually like at the beginning of some games, you're Bruce Wayne and you're doing something and then somehow you have to become Batman. Anyways, not in this game. Uh... The story, I gotta say, it started off pretty weak, very weak, uh, but it gets to a, a fever pitch, and I'm gonna explain that there are jumps in the story that you don't see coming that are pretty awesome, pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, the Arkham Knight thing, for a while I thought it was gonna be a figment of Batman's imagination, it's not. That's all I'm going to say. I'm glad that that wasn't true. I'm glad that the Arkham Knight is a real person. I'm not going to say who, uh, but I'm glad that uh, they didn't take the fucking easy way out and just say, oh, it was just a figment of Batman's imagination. Nope. It's, 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 uh, it's not huge, if you play the game for more than, I don't know, a few hours, a few missions, you'll just have to see who it is, and, uh, I did guess it, but I am glad that it, the Arkham Knight isn't just a figment of Batman's imagination, anyways, I think the Scarecrow is a great final villain, uh, the voice actor is amazing, it's just great look of the Scarecrow is great, and uh, that's that, I want to talk about the controls, the same issue that I had with most open world uh, action games, Batman's an idiot, Batman's a dumb motherfucker, Batman can't jump down ledges without you fucking pressing 100 buttons, Batman is difficult, like if there's an enemy right beneath you, Batman's pretty difficult to control. And now in this game, there are fucking, there's more shit after you. There's sentry guns, there's fucking drones. And then there's a the fucking shitty Batmobile. Now, uh, I like all the Batman games. I like this game a lot, too. Because of the story. Not necessarily because of the controls or anything else. But fucking... Uh, besides Batman handling like shit, just like all the other Arkham games and the shitty controls, the Batmobile is so ridiculous. It's a fucking tank, and you're wiping people out in it. And it's absurd. It is absurd. I simply don't understand why Batman would have a fucking tank and would be fighting attack drones or, uh, in, in the sense of automated tanks in the middle of Gotham City. To me, it's fucking ridiculous. It's like, here's a Batman game. Like, all we're all used to Arkham uh, Asylum, Arkham City, uh, Arkham Origins, uh, Arkham Knight, all that whole play style with tank combat. It's kind of fucking ridiculous. Uh, voice acting's good uh, all around. You know, 
been any hiccups there. Graphics, I thought the graphics would be a little bit better on a PS4. It's not my TV. TV, I get 1080p, 60 megahertz, so you know, 60 frames per second. And it's, it's okay. I would say that Bloodborne looks better than Arkham Knight. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm a whack job. Well, anyways, good game. I would say it's definitely it's worth a pickup if you can find this game for like 20 bucks, but it's not 20 bucks right now. It's only a month out of release. It's a whopping. It's still 40 bucks, and uh, I'm about a mission away from completing the game. Then I'll probably put it up on eBay and get rid of it. It's okay. It's not great. Uh, they could have done a lot better final chapter in the, in the Arkham series they could have done a lot more and they didn't uh, but you know whatever the story overall is pretty cool I'm glad to see to play as Batman one last time and uh, any fans of the series uh, should you know have a similar opinion uh, a similar opinion Okay. Uh, leave a comment and uh, have a good one.